The latest COVID-19 subvariant XBB15 is taking over as the dominant strain in the U.S. And as the World Health Organization confirms that this subvariant is the most transmissible so far, countries are ramping up their travel restrictions for China. Ian Jin reports. At the beginning of December, only 4% of COVID-19 cases in the United States were from the latest subvariant, XBB15. But in under a month, this strain has overtaken other versions of Omicron, accounting for more than 40% of COVID cases in the U.S., making it the latest dominant strain. On Wednesday, scientists from the World Health Organization confirmed that the XBB15 subvariant has a growth advantage, but said it hasn't yet shown any indication of being more serious or harmful than previous Omicron variants. Um, but what we can say is that it does have a growth advantage um, above all of the other subvariants so far. We don't have any data on severity yet or on the clinical picture, but we also do not have an indication that severity has changed with XBB.1.5. Scientists say that XBB.1.5, like its other XBB relatives, is shown to be the most immune evasive yet. Experts say that what gives it such a growth advantage is that the latest subvariant has a mutation that makes it bind more tightly to cells. Needing more data quickly to get ahead of this fast-changing virus, the WHO Director General called for more effort from China. We continue to ask China for more rapid, regular, reliable data on hospitalizations and deaths, as well as more comprehensive real-time viral sequencing. Countries around the world have been imposing measures on travelers from China. The 27 member states of the European Union have agreed to strongly encourage a requirement that would obligate all travelers coming from China, regardless of nationality, to show a negative COVID-19 test, and also that passengers on flights to and from China wear medical masks or respirators, in addition to other hygiene measures. These recommendations will enter into force as of Monday, January 9th. Here in South Korea, the first case of the XBB15 subvariant was detected on December 8th, and to date, 13 cases have been reported nationwide, of which seven were imported. Ian Jin, Arirang News.